あおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお Snacks, Indian food, a whole bunch of stuff that we purchased from the Indian market that we went to when we visited Little India in Tokyo. I hope you guys watched our videos of Little India.、Uh, it's located at Nishi Kasai Station on the east side of Tokyo. It's、um, our Little India. and We went to a few different、uh, restaurants there as well as a market, Indian market, to purchase the stuff that we're going to be preparing today and trying it out for you guys. If you missed those videos, go and watch them because they are great. Little India is a fantastic place here in Tokyo that we think everyone should visit. We will make it. Four stuff Chana Masala Papad,、mm -hmm. Pani Puri,、uh, Puri and pa Puri,、uh, Pani Puri water. And dosa. Right. And, and one more sweet. Gram j a m b o o m And we bought all of this from a Swagat Indian bazaar located in Little India in Nishikasai. Let's start with the easier, easier one. <laughs> the chana masala, chana masala papad. papad. Yes. So this is from Ga the Ganesh brand.、Uh, we've tried the regular papad before, we're used to that, but we've never seen one that's flavored. And this is a flavor, the chana masala flavor. And by the way, this is 250 yen for the entire package, so it's quite reasonable. It's 100%、uh, vegetarian. There are a few ways to prepare these. You can fry them in oil in a frying pan, you can roast them over an open fire, which we're not going to be doing. We're going to be doing the third way, which is to microwave them. So, all we do is brush the papads with the edible vegetable oil on both sides. We cook it on full power for approximately 45 seconds until they are ready. Super easy. Okay, it's、yep. done. Yep, they look delicious.、Mm -hmm. Now, you can eat this as is, like we are eating right now, but you can also like,、uh, crumble these on top of、uh, some Indian dishes like curry and rice. Do what? Do like mas! Mmm! Oh, crispy! Mmm! Very crispy! And、mm. this one is masala papad,、mm -hmm. chana masala papad, so a little bit kick. It has、mm. a little bit kick. They are made of chickpeas. I, I, I remember、um, when I used to、um, avoid、uh, simple carbs a long, long, long time ago before YouTube days. I used to eat these as a snack because these are made from healthy chickpeas. And I gotta say, these are quite spicy. <laughs>、mm, I'm starting to cough. But they're delicious and very, very flavorful and crispy. I think this will go good with beer, don't you think? I think so too. Let's have beer later. Oh, okay. All right. We have Indian beer, that's right. Yep. Yep. Okay, all right. Let, let's save this for later. Next to、um, deep fried stuff, first, we're gonna make grab j a m u m It takes a little bit of time to soak in the syrup. And this was 350 yen at our local supermarket. I'm sure all these are way, way cheaper in India. We get a lot of comments on the price saying they're expensive, but you know, this is Tokyo and you know, it's、uh, imported, so it says to add a quarter measure of water gradually into one measure of the MTR g u l a b Shamun mix and knead gently into a smooth dough. Once that is done, we're gonna keep it aside for five minutes. Okay, so we let it sit for five minutes, now we have to roll them into little balls. So, first, it says to oil our hands, grease our hands with some oil. I don't like this person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's so that you know, it doesn't stick to our hands. And then I, I think we can make about maybe five of these balls, maybe、yeah. four or five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just roll them into balls. This is,、uh, yeah, shape the dough into small balls. By the way,、uh, Gulab Jamun,、um, I just Googled it and it says that it originated in medieval Iran,、um, but very, very popular in、uh, places like India. Uh, Bangladesh, Myanmar, and, and these are made、uh, with milk solids and flour. What is milk solid? I, I don't, don't know. know, actually. <laughs>、okay. um, by the way, we're only using half of the package. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we made five balls. Five gulab jamun balls. The gulab jamun in the hot oil. I 
hope they turn out. This is the first time we're making these. Actually, this is a lot of fun <laughs> for me. I love this. I love trying things for the first time. Okay, and then we cook these in the oil until they are golden brown. It looks like takoyaki balls. Takoyaki balls? Deep fried takoyaki balls? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, look, they're golden brown already. It's it? more golden brown. Yeah, so that's it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, let's take it out. Is it ready already? Like on the package, it doesn't say how long to cook them. It just says to cook them until they're golden brown. But it's already it's so dark brown. Yeah, okay. So so maybe we take them out already? Okay. Hmm? Okay, I hope they're ready. Okay, and now we uh, drain them of excess oil just so that they're not oily. They do look a bit dark <laughs> compared to the ones we had at the restaurant. So I'm, maybe the heat was too high? Too high? Maybe. They look like a donut hole. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are going to dump the uh, gulab jamun inside the hot sugar water that we've prepared. Hopefully they soak up the sugar water and we we're supposed to leave this in the sugar water for uh, about 20 minutes. And then after that, we can eat these. So while we let the gulab jamun soak up the sugar, sugar syrup, we're gonna go on to the pani puri flats. We deep fry these, right? Mm -hmm. Deep fry these. It looks like osembe. Yeah, it does. Like rice crackers. But you know, these kind of remind me of uh, the shrimp crackers from Vietnam. Let's just try one first, okay? okay. One. J just in case, just in case, you know, we're doing it wrong. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's working. It's Is it working? working? Okay, I thought it was gonna puff up faster. Okay, there it floated up. Oh, 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 oh look at that! It is. And then uh, flip it over. Flip it over. Wow, wow. look at that. Look at that. Wow. It's, that it's, it's, is it's a okay. puri right there. You think it's ready? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to explode it. Okay, yeah, it's ready. Look at that, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's a perfect puri right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, okay, so let's drain, let's drain that. Okay, I'm gonna put um maybe uh, four in this time. Okay. Okay. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. They're floating up. Loading oh. up. Yeah. First thing is that they sink to the bottom, then they float up. Uh oh. Flip, 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 flip. Okay, flip this one over. That one's weird. That one's not working. One is not working. Why? Oh no, look at that. It's flip, not flip, working. Flip, flip. This look? It's it's it hasn't Okay, that that's enough for this one. Okay. So let's take this out. This is perfect right there. Mm -hmm. I guess this one's ready too. Mm -hmm. A little smaller. And this one is a fail. This one is basically oh. like a rice cracker. Okay. Yeah. Having said that though, they turn out perfect. This one's kind of small. So how many do we have right there? I think it's 12. 12. Yeah. Okay. 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that's good. Alright, so that was fun. We made our uh, pani puri shells. So happy with that. Okay, so okay. what's next? Mm -hmm. Next, uh, we're gonna make dosa. Dosa! Dosa. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna make at least um, two dosas, I hope. So this package makes eight dosas. It says it's a new recipe that's much easier to cook. I hope so because we've never made these before. <laughs> and we don't have the dosa pan. We, ha we just have this just right pan. <laughs> pan with the curvature on the edges. Okay, so since this package makes uh, eight dosas, we're gonna use half. Half. So we'll be making four dosas. Four dosas. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Maybe even more because our frying pan is smaller. smaller. All right, that's okay. You guys are all invited to the dosa party. So it looks like this on the inside. Okay, so we'll use exactly half. Can okay, we dump this into a bowl? 100 grams. 
half a package of flour, okay, powder, and pour 170 milliliter of water, and mix well. Okay, it's a pretty watery batter. So we mix it until um, all, like it's smooth. Do we mix so. it to a smooth batter. I think so. Okay. Okay. We've uh, switched to a whisk to get smarter. And looks like um, it's pretty smooth. We let it sit for five minutes as per instructions. Okay, so would you like to put some oil on the frying pan? Yep. Give me uh, oil a little bit. Okay. So grease the pan. Grease the pan. Yeah, it is a non-stick pan, but uh, the instruction says to put some oil. Maybe it's to make it crispy, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, and they're gonna put a little full of batter in the center. And they say to uh, spread it outwards. Make it thin. Make it very thin. Okay. I hope that's fine. Mm -hmm. Then turn on the heat. Mm -hmm. um, it says a low, uh, a medium, heat. medium heat. If we would do like okay. medium, yeah, medium. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, it says to cook for about three minutes, and then uh, once we we start to see like a golden brown color, mm -hmm. then we put some oil. Oil, okay. Uh -huh. And then if we want to put the potato, uh, we put the potato inside, and then okay. we fold it in half. Okay. Right, hopefully it turns out <laughs> so nerve-wracking when your first time making it. I was going to talk about something, but I think we should watch this because now I see some uh, steam coming out from okay. the frying pan. I, I just don't want it to burn. A little bit more? Uh, yes, I think it has to change color. Okay. Pariparito. Pariparito, you hear a crackling sound. Yeah. Okay, I wonder when we put in the oil. When, when do we put more oil on it? Once it browns? I think it's okay. Okay, all right. So let's put some oil on mm -hmm. it. Oil. Mm -hmm. and, and around the sides. Around the side. I guess that's to crisp it up, maybe. Okay, I think that's good. The edge part is becoming a little bit brown. Now. Yeah. But I wonder why there are cracks in the, in the dosa. There are like little cracks <laughs> on the <laughs> surface. That's right. Why is that? What's happening here? Mm, a little bit more, I think. A little huh. bit more. Uh, yeah. But becoming a little bit brown now. Yeah, yeah, the edges. Mm -hmm. Maybe the first one failed. failed. <laughs> we failed because it is golden brown, but if you look at the bottom, still white. Yeah, it, the color is not right. And it's actually kind of hard. This one failed. Failed. You know what? Yeah, well, why don't you just like, like flop it over like like into a top, like a taco shell? Okay, it like doesn't? this? Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's our first try at <laughs> making dosa. <laughs> Check it out. That's our dosa right there. It looks... It looks like a taco shell, like <laughs> a humongous taco shell. <laughs> that's um, kind of pale. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, second attempt. Mm -hmm. So turn off the heat. And the water. Yep. You reduce the heat. Yep. Cool down the frying pan. Oops. Oops. Okay. The grease oil. Lightly. Pour. Pour this. Butter. Butter. Okay, so mm -hmm. this time we're using two, two ladles. Those two small ladles. We have mm -hmm. switched to this ladle instead. Okay, that looks pretty good. Looks like this might turn out well, I hope. Okay, then turn on the heat. Medium heat. Now we'll try for, you know, if this turns out great, then great. But if it doesn't, I think we'll attempt to make it one more time. Okay. And if it doesn't work, you know what? We should just give up because it's... I mean, maybe you need a dosa pan. You know, may, may, maybe that's the thing. Fried pan, just regular fried pan is not good to make dosa. Yeah, maybe not. So, sprinkle some oil. Okay, on top of it and 
around, around it. it. Oh, I do hope this one turns out. The time to low. Okay, low heat. Low heat. All right. You know, on, on this box, I can't read the directions in English <laughs> because there's a label right on top of the directions. And the label just lists the ingredients, <laughs> the nutrition, and uh, allergy information and marketed by this company. And that's all it says and then you can't really peel off the label because then it peels off the instructions in the bottom. And so we had to look at the instructions online and it's brown. It's brown. Okay, let's check the bottom. Let's check it. Oh, oh, a little bit better. better. Better, but still, it's not like a perfect, you know, that that beautiful color. Mm. Um, but you know what? Let's let's just put in the potato masala. Potato masala I made. Yeah, masala potatoes. Masala Sorry. potato I made. Okay, I think I think that's good enough. Yeah, we'll flip it over. Okay, like this. Mm. Yup, there you go. Like this? Yeah. Kind of dosa. Kind of. <laughs> okay, the final thing we have to make is the pani puri water. Super easy. Just mix a teaspoon of this powder with ice water. Mix it up and you have the pani puri water. So, so simple. So, our feast is in front of us. By the way, unfortunately, our dosas do not look that pretty. <laughs> they look like something else, but we'll try them anyway. They might taste good. They might taste good. And as you can see, uh, we have three bottles of beer in front of us. This is a Bita 91 beer, Indian craft beers. And we have to say thank you to the people at Mitaiwala for sending these to us. We're not sure if um, they're selling them there yet. Maybe they, they might or maybe they're thinking about it. But um, this is an Indian craft beer. And we have a white beer. Uh, this has low bitterness. It's a wheat beer. Um, we also have a blonde summer lager as well as the Indian pale ale brewed with pomelo. Pomelo! The pomelo fruit. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Oh, interesting? This is a limited release. That sounds very interesting to me. By the way, Bira means big brother. Big brother? Big brother. Really? Big mm -hmm. brother in, in Hindi? In India, some kind of language. Uh, their, uh, their language, okay. Mm -hmm. And 91 is a code number of India. Is that right? You, you mean the, the, the phone number? The, the phone number, I think. The country well, code. In, ca in case of Japan, it's 81. Ah, so <laughs> country code. Country yes. code. Yeah, country code. <laughs> right, let the feast begin. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Come by. Bye. Oh, she. Mmm, that's good. Super crisp and my mine is very crisp and very refreshing and super flavorful as well. Taste sensation. Really? Taste yeah. sensation? Yeah, it's basically it's IPA flavor. Which it's, you it's love. A, yeah. It's a, it's a bitterness. Good yeah. bitterness. Hop, hop bitterness. Mm -hmm. But same time it has sweetness. Really? Fruit sweetness. And it matches very nicely. That's right, because it's pomelo. pomelo. I'm sorry, can we just like, just, um, like, <laughs> that's okay, we live together, so I'm gonna try some of that. I can already, oh wow, mm. I can already smell the pomelo. This one, it's clear beer. Mm. It's nice, refreshing taste. Yeah, but you know what? I prefer <laughs> Yours is <laughs> I prefer better. Beer. Yours is very mm. special. Mm. That's a, that's a really special beer. Really special beer. beer. <laughs> oh, I hope they sell this at Mitaiwala. Yeah. Mm. Mitaiwala, if you're watching, sell this beer at your place. I will definitely visit. This is really good beer. In front of us, there are four dishes. Chana masala papad, pani puri, and a dosa. Mm, kind of dosa. Masala dosa. Mm. And gram jamboon. Uh, I'd like to start off with the dosa. Dosa? Yeah, because okay. I'm very, very curious, you know, to try out this dosa. <laughs> so we have a homemade chutney that you made. Yep. Okay, so we eat with the chutney, chutney. and the coriander. coriander. Once again, guys, we do apologize if you are from India, you're watching from India. You're like, no, those are not dosas. A little bit of the chutney there, a little bit of coriander. Deva, itadakimasu. 
Mm. It's actually quite nice. As a flavor, mm. <laughs> it's not bad. Not mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. The color is kind of off, but the taste is there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's crispy. You guys heard that sound. It's lovely. I like it. It's better than I expected. Me too. <laughs> of course, you know, it doesn't beat the one at the restaurant we had. Mm -hmm. Um, that one was a nice color. It had a bit more flavor. Mm. I appreciate um, the chef. Me too. Who make, um, this dosa. Yeah, and you know you did really well with your um, masala potatoes. They taste delicious. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys tell we're like we've been really into Indian cuisine lately? Really, really have it's so um, interesting. Mm. You mm. know mm. all the spices. Yeah. The Spice combination, mm. the balance mm. is for mm. me. It's wow, it's like magic. You poke a hole in the on the top. I, I I learned how to do this. You know, the first time I did this, like I poked the hole with a chopstick. I was so afraid um, <laughs> the whole thing was gonna break. But they're actually quite sturdy. And and what 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 is this mixture here? You you made honey puri masala. <laughs> I don't know. Masala. What what is it? Is it potatoes? Potatoes, mainly potatoes and onion. Potatoes and onion. And chickpeas. And chickpeas. Really? Okay. Seasoned with coriander wow. and masala. Masala. Okay, and I also learned that you have to fill it all the way to the top with that honey puri water. Mmm. Mmm. Good. I gotta say, much better than the honey puri kit. Oh, really? Maybe because we made it wrong. But it's different. Mmm, mmm, mm. delicious, so refreshing. Mm. <laughs> this honey puri water, I, I, mm. I believe it's like made with mint and coriander and I forgot something else, but it's delicious. Delicious, it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing. Yeah. Mm. I feel like this is something you would eat like a, on a hot day because it's so refreshing. Mm. Papad, papad. Well, we already had some papad in the beginning, but we'll have more. And this is the uh, chana masala papad. Um, mm. I want to eat rice. <laughs> me too. Well, what does chana mean? If, if you guys know what that means, please let us know in the comments down below. We've learned what masala mm. means from you guys, so thank you so much for the information. We're not sure what chana masala means. Yeah, so please let us know. We would love to learn. Onishi <laughs> kora. I think it'll go really well with beer. This one is really good. <laughs> it's super mm. good. Like the, you know, papad is good. I, I like, I'm a fan of papad, but this one, because it has chili in it, yeah. it's mm. like kick. Mm. Wow. I'm very happy. <laughs> oh, it's perfect with the beer. Mm, it's perfect with the beer. Okay, finally, we have the um, dessert. The gulab uh, jamun. Gulab jamun. And it is a bit too dark but Let's maybe see. the oil temperature was high <laughs> maybe but you know what it looks pretty good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it looks pretty good mm -hmm. it soaked this uh, sugar syrup very well mm. 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 oh that's not bad at all mm. that's really sweet it's like a donut mm-hmm mm. 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 not bad at all mm. That's just quite delicious. Mm. It is on the sweet side, and I feel like I, I, it should be eaten with ice cream or something. I'm very happy they have uh, these kind of kit to make these delicious. <laughs> me too, <laughs> me too. I don't know if I'll be making dosa again because it was, I mean, we had a hard time with that. Mm. But if, I mean, I mean, it tastes okay this way too. You know, it doesn't look perfect, but it's quite tasty. 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 Good, you know, mm. and I, you know what I'm really happy about is the fact that you made masala potatoes. Oh, <laughs> that's shocking! It, it's great. You you've actually made something Indian, and and this mixture here, the pani puri mixture, this mixture is really nice. <laughs> it's really delicious. The chickpea and the potato and the coriander mixture and and the onions. So I, I'm just happy that we can actually well um, semi cook uh, Indian food at home. So this is great for me.
So I hope you guys enjoy today's our cooking video, Indian cooking video. <laughs> If you did, please give us a thumbs up and let us know what is all in the comment below. What is your favorite Indian food? Oh wow, very difficult question. <laughs> and please teach us how to make these dosa correctly. Yes, and you know, we are thinking, because of your suggestions, we're actually thinking about making, maybe making these、um, country specific videos.、Uh, we did India because we're, you know, we're getting very interested in India, but、uh, we also found a restaurant that a nice Singaporean couple、uh, operates. We can do like French. I don't know. I mean, you know,、uh, let us know your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and until we meet again, take care, everybody. Bye bye. bye.